Hello, it's Malcolm with Torch here for Markham 3D. And in this video, we're gonna quickly go through the very basics of creating an explosion. So I'm gonna keep the default cube here. I'm just gonna go numpad three into side mode. I'm going to scale it up a bit, GZ, let's move it up here. Now in the center, I'm gonna go back into object mode, shift A, let's add in a isosphere. So if we go into wireframe mode, we can see that we've got this thing in here. I'm gonna delete the bottom half. I'm gonna just scale it down, let's go G and move it down. Now, what we need first is a domain. So I'm just gonna go into smoke, domain. So this is where the smoke and fire is all calculated in this area. I'm gonna change that to 64 just to give it that little bit of extra love. I'm gonna come back over to our object that we want the explosion to emit from. So I'm gonna go smoke, uh, flow. From here, I want to go, I'm gonna set the keyframe to about keyframe 10. I'm gonna change the flow to fire because I just want fire, that is all. Flame rate, I'm going to set at four. I'm gonna right click, insert keyframe. I'm gonna go back one frame. I'm gonna set that flame rate to zero, insert keyframe. Now let's go to about frame, let's go to frame 17. Set that to zero, right click, insert keyframe. Initial velocity, let's bump that up, bump the normal up to about four. And if we come back and we watch, it's gonna pre-bake and we have a explosion -y. Cool, so let's have a look. When does this roughly finish? Frame 50, beautiful. I'm gonna change the renderer down to 50, so we only have to worry about those five, um, 50 frames. Let's go back into the domain and cache. Now I can't uh, pre-bake it, and to render faster, we want to be able to bake it. So I'm gonna go up to the top and go file, save as, and save the file somewhere. If we were to bake now, nothing would happen, and that's because A, we don't have materials, and we haven't enabled the renderer for volumetrics. So I've clicked on the renderer, let's go to volumetrics, let's set the tile size to two, and now let's create the material on the domain. So I'm gonna click new material, um, let's, um, let's add in a new material. Go on, new material, and we'll call this Zephyr. I'm just going to split this view and add in our shaders. And so this is what we're currently looking at. I'm gonna go up here and turn to Eevee. Let's get rid of this principal shaver, shaver, shader. Shift A, search. Volumetrics, a uh, principal volume is what we need. And so I'm gonna dump that one in there. From here, I'm gonna do add shader. And the next bit we want to add in emission because we want to make it look nice and bright. From here, I'm going to shift A and attributes. The name of the attribute that we want to control is flame. It needs to be spelt correctly or it's not going to work, simple as that. I'm gonna add the factor into the color. And from here, I'm gonna shift A again and select color ramp. I'm gonna press plus plus twice and we're gonna set this color here. Let's set this to a dark orange. We're gonna set this yellow or orange to a nice bright orange. And from here, what we need to do as well, we need to add in a math node, whoops. Let's add in a math node, get the factor. The factor comes into the top. We're gonna to change this to about not 203. We're gonna add change this to about 20, change add to multiply and set this into the strength. And so that's what our uh, node base looks like. From here, let us now do a bake roux and see what happens. And let's stop that bake because what I've done is I'm just gonna press escape. I said the start of the simulation is one frame However, it ends at 250, which is not what we want. So I'm going to delete all bakes, change 250 to 50, and let's bake again. Okay, so the bake is now completed. Let's just move this window down just so we can get a little bit more action. And what have we got? If I press play, I think it bugs out. Kind of looks very weird. 
So what we're going to do, we're just going to take a gander and we are going to bake the frame. So I'm just going to quickly get the camera. Let's go GZ, rotate XX, so it's on the X axis. Dump it here. Let's give me some sun. Where's my sun lamp? Sun. There we go. Nice and beautiful. Control S, save. And from here, I'm going to go up to the top, select render, and we're going to render this animation. So the baking is now completed. Let's go up to Sony Vegas, file, import, media. Let's select our open sequence, open. Si senorita. Bring this down into here. And let's have a smidgen. And there we go. Very quick, very simple explosion.